term living legend tends to get overused in our business these days. And uh, I think it's really a very appropriate term when we're talking about Bob B. Felice. He's brought this unquestionable integrity and honor to his leadership role at Bentley and also to our team of colleagues in the Northeast 10. His institutional memory, his collection of professional experiences are so invaluable to all of us. Um, you know, when coach speaks, uh, people listen for sure. Uh, he's not shy about questioning something he doesn't agree with or for sharing a candid perspective on an issue of concern. Um, he's, he's so genuine and honest and always steadfastly student-centered. Uh, so he's a guy that, uh, that I think has, has led by example uh, with honor and integrity for a long time. I wore black today in his honor. Uh, I have black pants on, black shirt, just in his honor, because we know Coach Felice. it was easy for him to get up every day and match his clothes. You know, uh, I love working with Bob. I, I mean, I've been in Division II for 16 years as an athletic director, and I, I you know, heard of him over the years when I was at the University of Bridgeport. My baseball coaches, John Aquilario, Joe Tanana, would say, yeah, we played uh, Coach Felice down in Florida, and, you know, he's just a legend. And, uh, you know, just listen to, he comes from years of experience. I think we forget sometimes that years and wisdom is, is, is very important to the conversation. Uh, he believes in uh, student athletes. I mean, he's been a coach forever and an athletic administrator. Uh, most importantly, I believe, I think he believes in his coaches. He's had some legends there alongside of him. And I, I just think that his reputation as, as, uh, as a coach, but more administrator is that I think he, I, from what I see is his coaches love working around him. And I think he's a coach's AD. And I think sometimes we missed that today. It's funny, so, but my professional relationship goes back obviously 13 years since I started in the NE10 in uh, 2008. And Bob is one of those people that has really, um, he finds his spots. You know, I consider him a friend. You know, we've really gone through uh, thick and thin together. I know what he's done for this league. Uh, I know how much of the foundation he provided to the NE10 uh, in its formation, uh, you know, now celebrating its 40, its 40th year. And, you know, there's, there's few people that, uh, very few people, in fact, that would come to mind before you couldn't get to Bob DeFelice on this list of people who have been so important to the NE10. You no, know, Teddy Roosevelt says that walk, walk tall and carry a big stick, but in honor of Bob G. Felice, I'm gonna walk tall and carry his big stick, okay? His wooden stick, not composite, not metal. So Bob D. Felice, you're still gonna be around coaching. You've been a great athletic administrator. Keep swinging, coach. And thanks for teaching us so much about not only athletics, but the world we live in. Good luck, coach. I'm honored to have an opportunity to, uh, to, to play a small role in a tribute to coach. I, I think the world of him, He's going to be greatly missed, and I have, I'm really happy to know that he's still going to be prowling that coach's box for the Bentley Falcons, and I'll get to see him when they come up here for games. Um, so I guess uh, in tribute to a great baseball man, I'll, uh, I'll tip my hat to Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks for your leadership and your friendship. We are so grateful for your many contributions to the Northeast 10. Thank you.